Hello, my name is Sergei Tsipsin and today I'm going to talk about some interesting dynamic effects. And I'm going to talk about using Maya nodes not only for purposes described in the documentation but uh, for, for mixing nodes uh, and creating the effects from this mixing. And um, today I will talk about the paint effects tune uh, and cloth particles emitters and uh, everything mixing into one effect to make this uh, model for example like sublimating like this one and let's recreate this uh, effect from the beginning uh, using these different nodes I'm talking about the nodes uh, because everything in Maya uh, is uh, consists of the nodes and every object is the several nodes and uh, mostly and usually uh, I talk about not object I talk about nodes and the attributes of the nodes and we will see how we can use this approach okay let's open very simple file here is like Venus a model and the polyplane very simple objects and I can select this polygonal plane and uh, go to end cloth menu and create the end cloth and I can see it working then I can I can go to the plane and I can select for example two vertices and I can create constraint. It's typical workflow for making curtains or piece of clothes. And I can go to the attribute editor for this and cloth and set up some attributes to make it not so stiff. For example, I can reduce the, redu the resistance attributes and see some nice animation so the my idea is to emit particles from the place of intersection between the plane and the model and for that I want to create some kind of object between them as long as the model and the plane uh, are polygonal objects I cannot use uh, nice NURBS features like surface intersect and uh, so on but um, in Maya we have a very nice um, node a very nice feature as a paint FX tune and I am going to use this paint FX tune to create the object at the place of intersection of two polygonal objects. I can select this uh, plane and the model. I can select model and the plane and then I can go to the tune menu and assign new outline. Oof, I can see a lot of lines but um, we don't need all of them except intersections. So we can go to the attribute editor and s switch them off profile lines off, border lines off, crease lines off the only lines we need is the, is the intersection lines and we can see now that uh, we have nice intersection lines exactly at the place of intersection and these lines they are rebuilt at every frame during the animation my idea is uh, to select these paint FX tune lines and convert them to the polygons and I can go to the menu paint FX to polygons go to option box switch on the quad output because it, it makes nicer polygonal shape after converting I can convert it and see the mesh group which contains only one mesh 
it's mesh just converted from the tune lines and of course this is the full construction history and this mesh will be reconverted at every frame now I can select this mesh the same way as a usual object and go to dynamics menu and go to the particles and select emit from object and I need to select surface because I want to emit particles from the surface of this polygonal object not from the vertices I can use pretty large number like 8000 I want to keep scale rate by object size turn it off because I want to emit this exact number of particles uh, independently from the shape of their converted from the paint FX tune model and um, the other attributes I can set uh, after the creating this emitter and now I can see that my particles are emitted from the place of intersection to see it more clearly I can go to the attribute editor for the emitter and first I want to set the speed to zero to keep particles on place and to see particles more clearly I can go to the particles attribute editor to and make them for example spheres and set up smaller radius and now I can select my particles and see these effects <coughs> 